it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and welcome back to May I Scrap Lift You. So on Saturdays, Moira, Sandy, Alex, and I are all scrap lifting someone with a layout that inspires us. So um, this layout is stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is done by Kim... I think it's Jenkins, um, and she's Kim Jenkins Crafts over on Instagram. So I will have her link down below so that you can go give her some love. And of course, I am doing some Maggie Holmes. Um, this one is the Heritage Collection, and I am scrapbooking another old picture. Um, you saw it had a little post-it note on the back. I was lucky enough to have my mom um, actually like give me some info and some of the pictures she had actually written on the back. Um, so when I do the journaling, I can I can get a few things right. So that's that's super exciting. So I am going to start with the I, I guess you would call it an arrow. <laughs> um, and I am going to layer up three different papers and I am going to distress the edges. Um, and at the time of making this, um, I have no idea where my distress tool is, um, but I have since ordered a new one from Paper Issues, so super excited about that. Um, I got the Tim Holtz one, yay. Um, so I did three different papers, distressed them, and then basically gutted the last two. And I'm going to apply them to the top as even as I can. So here I fold my, <laughs> this, this is how technical I am because my room is a mess. And honestly, I couldn't find my um, T-square ruler. So I kind of folded the background paper in half so that I would kind of know where the six inch mark is and then just go straight up. And um, from there, I put the tip of the arrow. Um, it's probably not exact, but uh, no, it's actually not exact. I'm looking at it now. So <laughs> it's it's a little wonky, but you you really kind of have to like really look. It's probably... I don't know, an eighth of an inch off, but I don't think it's super noticeable. So I'm going to go with it. So I only have one photo. So I am going to use um, some of the cut aparts. So I'm going to cut this one, actually two pieces of the cut aparts I am going to use. Um, one says photographs and one is just a lined paper. And then I'm also going to layer up this ephemera piece that has music notes on it because, so this is, he would have been my great uncle Tom and, um, my mom said, um, so this was right before he died and I was four years old, um, that he would sing to me. Um, but we're Cherokee Indian, so he would, he would chant actually. Um, and so that's kind of cool. And that's why I wanted to get the, um, the music notes on there. I thought that was super appropriate. So I'm going to map my photo in this, um, it's kind of a greenish paper. It does have like um, like all of the, what are those called? Suits, um, of cards on them, but I trimmed it close enough where you're not going to notice that. And then, um, I do rough up the edges of all of the items. So my photo, I don't do my photo. That's wrong. I don't do my photo. I do the photo mat and then the three pieces that are going to go on the right. Now, I will tell you that I am super proud of myself. I did use my little cutter bee scissors and I didn't cut myself. 
there were a few close calls, but I never actually cut myself. So that was, that was very exciting. <laughs> um, so I am going to just layer these up. I decided that maybe I should layer them first and then distress because then I wasn't distressing areas that you weren't going to see. Um, so after that, I am going to do some embellishing. So you can see in Kim's layout, she has clusters basically on both the top corners of each of her photos. She has her um, title in the middle and then down on the bottom she's got a cluster of tags. So um, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I, I'm realizing that I didn't actually do a title for this layout. Yeah. I think that I'm going to have to go back and do a title. Um, so I would love if you guys would help me because I am terrible at titles. Absolutely terrible at titles. Um, so since I've kind of told you the story of the picture, I, I would love, love, love um, for some thoughts on a title. Um, cause I can't even think of anything right at the moment anyway. So, um, and then I'll look through them and I will pick one. And at the end of the month, when I do my how to kill a kit with style share, um, which hopefully I'm going to have just gobs and gobs of layouts and so much of my, uh, Maggie home supply used, um, I'm super excited. I think it's, I think it's going to happen. Um, I was hoping to maybe do a layout a day. Um, but as you can see, that's not happening. Um, but you know, there are, there are quite a few videos, whether they're shares or process videos this month, um, with Maggie Holmes. So if you are a Maggie Holmes hoarder, like I am, hopefully, um, I'm giving you a variety of her different collections to, um, to, to get inspiration from. <laughs> like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, and then I'm going to feel really good because, you know, I'm going to go buy the entire new collection that she has coming out for fall. Cause that's, that's what I do. <laughs> So this heritage collection doesn't come with tags. So I decided to make my own. So I just took a pre-made tag that I had that I liked the dimensions of. And I used the three papers that I used in um, the upper, I guess it's actually a triangle. Um and just trimmed out the, the shape of that tag. And then I just used my hole punch and um, cut a hole in them. Now, I did just order the like um, reinforcer punch from Paper Issues. So I'm kind of super excited to get that. Like I kind of was like, eh, I don't really need that. But so on this layout, there was actually, it's, it's actually a ribbon and I split it in half because there was like this gap between the layers of ephemera on the right to the photo on the left. So you can just see that little arrow at the top. So I put the, the little arrow at the top and then I put the bottom down at the bottom. So it looks like it's longer than it is. Um, but I really liked the dark like reinforcer on it and I was kind of sad that I didn't have a reinforcer to um to make this. I don't even have like a I know some people will do like a circle punch and then they'll use their hole punch for the center. I don't even have that. So, um so I'm excited that I have I have a few things. I have a few things coming. Um, so I do have quite a bit of this collection. So I, I definitely think 
that I am going to be using quite a bit of it, um, especially to document some older photos. So um, as far as my clusters go, I'm using these um, clear black and white florals. I'm going to put one on each side. Um, they each have a floral on the left hand side. It is a, uh, a clear sticker. But on the right, it is the chipboard. So you got a little dimension. And I really just like that horseshoe because I do feel very lucky um, with this picture. So I, I thought the horseshoe was appropriate. And then there's a little tab that says remember. And then in the center, I am terrible about using like people, the people in the in collections. But I really liked this little boy and so I decided that he was going to go on there and he is basically holding a sign that says these are the moments I want to keep in my heart forever and I thought oh that's just super super precious um, I did add a floral to the bottom as well as a sticker that says family and then I am going to finish it off with these black eye Susan sequins and I am only going to pull the yellow ones. Um, so these are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I am not sure that they are still available. I think they're, they're not super old, but they're not super new either. Um, but obviously I still have enough of them, but they are like the perfect yellow to go with this really pretty yellow background paper. Um, I didn't do the mixed media that Kim did, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so if you're going to scrap lift this, I would encourage that too, because <laughs> um, it is gorgeous. Um, to put down my sequins, I just use my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and my Crystal Katana. And that is going to do it. So I have a couple of close-ups. I hope you enjoyed this process. Make sure you head over and you give some love to Kim over on Instagram. She makes beautiful, beautiful layouts. Um, and then please, please, please leave me a title in the comments um, so that I can get a title on because I'm looking at it and it really, really needs it. So remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next time. Bye.